so it is now 9.02 and my Indian lasagna is almost done. So I'm going to uh, read to you a little bit from this book. Just some notes that I made while reading this. I don't recommend that anybody um, even borrow this book from the public library. It's really not worth reading. Um, but I took some notes and I will share what I found out of this book. If you care to, uh, if something interests you, what I'm, if anything that I'm talking about interests you, I give you the page number. You can go ahead and look it up for yourself if you care. Anyway, so um, the 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. Page 16. Picasso said you should learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist. 25. Socrates said education is the kindling of a flame. And Isaac Asimov wrote, self-education is, I believe, the only kind of education there is. 66. Most people stay the same their entire lives, too frightened to leave the way they operated yesterday. Married to the complacency of the ordinary and wedded to the shackless, oh, sorry, shackles, of conformity while resisting all opportunity for growth, evolution, and personal elevation. 129. 5 a.m. is the time of least distraction, highest human glory, and greatest peace. When you're up early and all alone, away from overstimulation and noise, your attention isn't being fragmented by technology, meetings, and other forces that can limit maximum productivity. The prefrontal cortex, that part of your brain responsible for rational thinking, as well as constant worrying, actually shuts off for a short time. Your brain waves actually shift from their usual beta to alpha, and sometimes even down to the theta state. The solitude... Silence and stillness of daybreak also triggers the production of neurotransmitters like dopamine, the inspirational fuel that serves super producers so well, and serotonin, serotonin the beautiful pleasure drug of the brain. Automatically and naturally you enter the flow state. Page 130. Transient hypofrontality. Um, dopamine increases, serotonin increases, cortisol decreases. Um, that's the 5 a.m. club thing. 137, best time to optimize your four interior empires is from 5 to 6 a.m. E1 mindset, E2 heart set, E3 health set, E4 soul set. Page 146. All you need to do to be a success is own the day. Make 1% course corrections over each day, micro wins. These make your life 30% improved in a month and in a year 365% more elevated goal. This is the day stacking foundation. Page 181, habit installation protocol, 66 day minimum. Number one, destruction, 22 days. Number two, installation, 22 days. Number three, integration, 22 days. And that brings you to the automaticity point. Um, anyway. Page two of six, five to 5.20 a.m. Exercise intensely, sweat hard, learn, hydrate, breathe deeply. Why? Cleanses cortisol. Uh, BDNF flows. Dopamine rises, serotonin increases, meta, meta, metabolism elevates. Benefits, more focus and productivity. Focus and brain optimized, energy grows, less stress, live longer. 5.20 to 5.40 a.m. Journal, meditate, plan, pray, contemplate. Why? Gratitude boosted. Awareness soars. Happiness, something that I can't read. Uh, wisdom develops lifts i bet happiness lifts wisdom develops their serenity expands benefits increased positivity decreased reactivity increased creativity stronger performance richer life 5 40 to 6 a.m review goals read books consume audiobooks listen to podcasts study online why the two time three times mindset knowledge deepens Acumen? 
escalates. Confidence right. accelerates. Master change benefits. Better income and impact craft calibrates. Domin domain dominance. Personal growth. Inspiration rises. Page 230. Sleep. Neurons shrink by 60% as cerebral spinal fluid washes through your brain. HGH, human growth hormone, is produced in pituitary gland of the brain and is important for healthy tissues in your body. A strong functioning metabolism, long life, increased HGH, increased moods, cognition, energy levels, and lean muscle mass while reducing cravings through leptin and ghrelin. HGS is released through exercise. 75% of HGH production occurs while asleep. To maximize wash production, you need five complete 90 minute sleep cycles. So that's seven and a half hours, seven and a half hours sleep each night. Seven to eight p.m. Last meal of the day. All devices turned off, eight to nine p.m. Time with loved ones, meditate, recreational pursuits, Epsom salt bath. 9 to 10 p.m. Cool, dark bedroom, evening gratitude. 2.52, digital interruption is costing you your fortune. The five primary assets are mental focus, physical energy, personal willpower, original talent, and daily time. Put these things safely within a tight bubble of total focus, a metaphorical moat, to protect them from outside negativity. Tinker with metaphorical wall of armor. So you still have a social life and don't become a hermit, much like Pauline. 254. The greatest performers don't work in a linear way. The way elite creatives do that do what they do is by understanding the power of oscillation. They structure their work cycles so that they alternate bursts of deep focus and ferocious intensity of performance with periods of real rest and recovery. Use a timer. Work at your best for 60 minutes while in a tight bubble of total focus. Train yourself not to move during this period. Concentrate, now refuel. Quick walk for 10 minutes with energizing music or audiobook and headphones. Shifts brain from ruminating, worrying behaviors of the left hemisphere into the creativity and flow of the right section. After 10 minutes of regeneration, go back to do a 60 minute work segment full of inspiration and excellence and ingenuity. Then a 10 minute cycle of renewal. 257. Benefits of massage. 31% decrease of cortisol. That's the fear hormone. 31% increase, 31 increase in dopamine, motivation hormone. 28% increase of serotonin regulates anxiety and increases happiness. Massage also decreases muscle tension, improves pain relief via sending anti-inflammatory messaging to muscle cells and elevates signaling of those cells to make more mitochondria. It needs to be deep tissue massage, which hurts a little. This reduces stress that causes telomeres to degrade and increases lifespan and optimizes health. Two 90-minute massages each week. 258. People who commute a total of 60 minutes to and from work each day spend 1,200 days of their lives doing so. Three years spent in traffic or on a bus or a train. Solution, audiobooks. One new idea you learn in a book or online could make you millions or billions of dollars. 259. Create your blueprint for a beautiful week on Sunday morning. 275. The day is priceless. All the money in the world will not bring it back again. 291. The universe adores gestures of affluence like paying for a dinner you had with your friends at an expensive restaurant when you cannot totally afford to do so. So, nature, show nature you know prosperity is coming and perform acts that make you feel like you have plenty. Ever increasing gratitude. That's your goal. 293. Invest in the finest books you can buy. Eat fantastic food of the highest caliber. Even if all you can afford is an excellent starter salad at a luxurious local restaurant. Go have a coffee at the greatest hotel in your city. 
Listen to joyful music daily and visit art galleries. <sighs> now, this book is written like it's a fictional book. So it's uh, a guy who is only referred to as the spellbinder, who is like the guru for these other people. So he's like the Tony Robbins or something of the group, right? And the other people are, oh, please tell us all this <laughs> wonderful knowledge. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, it's poorly written. There's a lot of quotes, like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, there was a couple quotes that I included that I liked, uh, but there's a, a lot more in here. Um, so, I mean, it's easy to fill. You read these things, and you might think, Oh, well, this author, Robin Sharma, wow, he's really well read because he knows all about what Picasso and Socrates and all these people said. And not only that, but the character that may be based on him, the spell, spellbinder. Um, he knows the quotes off word by word. He's just, you know... And I said this to James, and James said, well, some people do. And uh, and so James gave me a pretty hefty quote that I know was word for word. I don't have to look it up because he's James. But you know what? There's not very many James out there. <laughs> he's he's pretty special. He has a very impressive memory. I'm People are, are amazed by his memory. It's not just me. Other people have noticed he's incredible. So, um, other people are not like James. Most people are more like me. You'd go, oh yeah, that quote, you'd think, you'd be telling somebody something, right? And then and then you'd go, oh, you know, like when Picasso said that thing about da-da-da-da, and it'd be sort of similar, but it wouldn't be quite exactly, and you'd, you'd kind of be, and you get halfway through it, and you're like, you know what, I don't know, just... <laughs> Never mind, or whatever, because you don't know it. You know a little bit of it, and you can kind of go with the gist. You know, it's something like this. And just leave it at that. Anyway. So, and, I mean, this is a very short Picasso quote. So, maybe I gave a bad example, because you probably could know that one off by heart. <laughs> anyway, but what I'm saying is most people wouldn't. So, it's poorly written, because there's very... There's nobody, I don't think there's anybody, even James, wouldn't be able to quote word for word all of these quotes in here, just in conversation, like, oh, yeah. Whatever. And, and a lot of the time, if I'm thinking about something, I might think, oh, I think it was such and such who said something like this, right? You wouldn't even know, you wouldn't be able to say, oh, yeah, Picasso, and then psh, the whole thing. Anyway, okay, so I do have a problem with the writing that it's, not at all believable. It's it's really poorly constructed that way. It's like he has only had conversations with himself and he has only had them in his mind. Not even allowed because he wouldn't even know that, oh, I'm not capable of just rattling this off because all that when you see a bunch of quotes in a book these people, all they've done is they've looked it up. You can look it up online. You can say uh, keyword search for quotes on whatever subject or whatever. Or basic ideas like about education or about gratitude or whatever. And you can find a whole schwack of them that way. Or they make, if you don't care to sit online and look at it, they make books that are, they have everything organized according to subject. So that's all these people do. So there's nothing impressive about tossing in a bunch of quotes into a book like that. It's it it just says that they're they're not that bright. They're really lazy. Um, so I was not impressed with the writing. It's and at the same time I was thinking, oh well, you know, he probably put it together in a kind of fictional sort of way um, because he realizes that most people that he might be trying to interest into this would read fiction for the most part 
and uh, a lot of people do. A lot of people, that's really all they read is fiction. They don't, but not me. And so this was a little more difficult for me to get through because not only is it written like it's fiction, um, and it really is, and but also um, it's not, not good fiction. It's really poorly written. So I didn't care for it. But now um, I want to point out that notice I didn't start my day for the 5 a.m. I started my day for the 4, 4 a.m. So I'm in the 4 a.m. club. And the only way, like he's talking about if you go through all of his things, there's nothing in there about making dinner. In fact, when he mentions uh, the the universe adores it if you if you um, pay for dinner for at an expensive restaurant for your friends and you can't really afford it. The universe just loves that. <laughs> and so the only mention that he has about eating about food is when it's made by somebody else. And he can't even make coffee for himself. Later on, remember that quote? That was 291. Um, what was it? It was about coffee, too. Restaurant you can't afford. Show nature, you know, prosperity's coming. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, page 293. So it's a little bit later. Go have a coffee at the greatest hotel in your city. So the 5 a.m. club people... They don't even make their own coffee. Maria does that for them. Maria's a part of the 4 a.m. club, like me. And so that's what really bothers me about stuff like this, about people like this, is I get up and uh, sure, yeah, I had some time to sit and read this in between my physiotherapy exercises and the uh, cooking, you know what, while I was doing at the same time, I got a couple lo loads of laundry done at the same time. I got my floor swept and mopped. Um, that's about it. So far, and it's 9.19, you know, talking to you a little bit. Um, so the 5%, like him, are wealthy because the 95% or not. The 95% are the 4 a.m. club and they're busy working so that they can serve this guy coffee and they can they can serve him his, his meal at the fancy restaurant. He can't even cook for himself. Maria, get off your knees and make him cook for himself. Don't do it for him anymore. 